Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, before I get started with this video, I just wanted to say please comment down below what you think my intro should be because I really can't think of one. Um, because everybody says, Hey, what's up, you guys? and it's kind of getting old, so I just wanted to say that before we got into it. But today, I'm just going to be making a cute handprint. Rainbow DIY because I thought just like I don't know I just thought maybe it'd be fun and I started doing it actually already but I just thought why not make a video on it so here I am but let's get into the handprint rainbow DIY sorry I look so crazy I didn't feel like getting ready today like every other day of my life <laughs> But let's get into it. I'm not going to do anything because I'm so boring. So what I did, I just took and um, added white paint to purple paint. It looks really, really dark on camera, but it's actually, like, it looks violet on camera, but it's, like, a really pretty purple. And I just mixed them together, and um, I painted my hand, and I put it on there, and I can, I, like, filled in the little hole that was in the middle from like your palm and I filled in kind of parts where the hand was and if you get little mess like get, you get messed up right here or something like it's okay no need to worry because we are going to go over that and it is going to be amazing okay so I just changed the angle because I thought it would be better but I just grabbed a top to an old ice cream container. It was fudge swirl ice cream. But, um, I'm just taking that and I wanted to do kind of a pastel y look on here. So, um, I just grabbed red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, whatever, and I'm going to just add white to all of them, and I just got the red instead of the pink, so I decided I uh, just mix white. So I grabbed um, six paintbrushes, one that I'm going to be painting it with, and um, I'm doing this on grid paper so I can count out the lines that separate the different colors, and so one, two, three, four, five, and six. I just need these to mix them in, and I'm going to be using the tips of the brushes to mix them in. So I'm going to mix, how many times am I going to say mix? But I'm going to mix red, orange, yellow, green, and purple. Um, a little bit of purple, I'm not going to, might not do a lot of purple because my hand print is purple. It's because I had a ton of purple paint left over and I thought, why not use it, you know, but... Um, I'm going to mix all these colors up with white really quick, and I will be right back. And by the way, I'm just using these little containers that I got. It gives you the whole rainbow plus, like, a ton more. Oh, jeez. It's from the dollar store. Just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> okay, so I got the white on the different colors of the rainbow. And I'm just taking my paintbrush and mixing them all up individually, visually, sorry. And, um, yeah, I'll be back with you. They're all mixed, even though I said that before, but I will this time. Okay, so now I just got them all mixed up, and they are looking great. And I just, you know, mixed them all, so... They're a little messy, but <laughs> let's, okay, um, here it is, my little spin wheel, I know I got orange and red mixed up, but that's okay, so I'm just taking my paintbrush, and, um, I'm going to count out how many squares of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple there will be, and I do have a darker purple, because, once again, I don't want them to match up. They might look the same on camera, but they're really, really not. So, I'm going to get into that. I can't really do it, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so in my grid paper, I have 
32 squares and sorry um so uh, uh I did the math actually no I got a calculator to do the math for me and um each of it gets five squares and the purple will have a little less squares especially since my handprint is purple so let's get into it I guess I don't know okay so I just took this thin paintbrush and I went along the edge of the line that I needed and the line that I needed it to go out to and I just took this and I filled in the inside so I'm just gonna move on it to the next one and please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it so far and comment down below your favorite color and today's question of the day hmm I'll announce that at the end of the video I don't know if I said this or not but I'm doing a question of the day every single day from now on and yeah so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will show you the final result in about five seconds okay so this is my finishing almost finishing product it looks kind of weird on camera right now but I'm going to add a little bit more of the white paint to my purple that I have right here so it will match the handprint and I'm going to fill in a little bit more of the handprint so let's do it okay so what I'm doing now I put it on a piece of cardboard and I'm taking a red sharpie and I'm just tracing out where um, I'm going to cut it out and then once it dries I'm just going to take clear tape and put it over it and there will be a part two to this video and um, I will show you the final results in that video so if you want to see it go over to that and um, it might be on my club channel with my sister I don't know and if it is on the club channel with my sister I will leave a link for it in the description and yeah um, so comment down below what our family name should be and comment down below what you think my intro should be and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this part one of the video and I will see you guys all tomorrow Bye.